The eSAFMG has just released important updates for the 2021, 2022, and the 2023 pathways that IMGs will need to know so that they can gain eSAFMG certification and successfully get into residency programs in the US. In this video, I will tell you all the important updates that you need to know. And to ensure that you never miss another important video like this, all you have to do power up that like button, hit subscribe, and that notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Now let's begin. Point number one. The eCFMG is not accepting new applications for the 2022 match. The important word here is new. So if you have already applied before the deadline for 2022, then they will continue to process your application and you can receive updates on its progress. However, if you have not submitted an application for the 2022 match as yet, eSafeMG will not be processing or accepting those new applications. Point number two. The 2021 and 2022 pathway applications that are incomplete when the 2023 pathway opens will be rejected. So to put it simply, if you have started an application for 2021 and 2022, if those applications are incomplete or not done by the time the new 2023 pathway opens, then your application will be automatically rejected. Well, now you might be asking yourself, when will the 2023 application open? Well, that leads us to point number three, and that is the 2023 online application will be open in the second quarter of 2022. So remember that the second quarter of 2022 will be from April to June. Since the eCFMG did not specify the exact month or date as yet, I highly recommend that if you have an incomplete 2021 or 2022 application, that you complete it before April. And if you are planning on submitting a application for the 2023 pathways, then it is important that you become well acquainted with the pathways before they open. Now let's move on to point number four. All eCFMG certificates gained through a pathway are subject to expire. So if you have gained a eCFMG certificate through pathways one through six for 2021 or 2022, they can all expire. They will expire except for applicants who complete the first year of an ACGME accredited training program. So let's say that your ECFMG certificate will expire in December of 2024. If you have completed the first year of an ACGME accredited training program before December 2024, then your ECFMG certificate will no longer expire. However, if you have an expiration date of December 2024 and you don't complete that first year of training before then, then it will expire. Now let's move on to point number five. eCFMG certificates issued through 2021 and 2022 pathways will expire on December 31st, 2024. So remember, if you do your first year of ACGME accredited training before this date, it will not expire. So basically what ECFMG is saying is that if you get your certificate through any of the pathways for 2021 or 2022, then you need to get into a residency program, an ACGME accredited residency program, and complete your first year of training be before December 31st, 2024. 
Okay, so this is extremely important for all applicants that are planning to apply to the 2023 match. You have to know about the changes for the 2023 pathways. The first change that we will look at is the change for pathway number one. And this is the change to eligible dates that you receive your license. So applicants must currently hold or have held a full unrestricted license to practice medicine issued at any time on or after January 1st, 2018. So this date has changed for the 2023 applicants. However, if you have received your license before this date, don't worry, because the ECFMG states that if you received your license before January 1st, 2018, that is okay. You just need to ensure that it is still valid on or after January 1st, 2018. And that is specifically for pathway one. Now let's look at the change number two for pathway number two. This change is mainly for the acceptable OSCEs that ECFMG will accept. So the ECFMG states that they will no longer accept passing results on OSCEs that are not administered by an acceptable medical school. And they will not accept OSCEs administered by other entities. So the ECFMG will specify what they classify as an acceptable medical school. And if your medical school does not fall into that category, then any OSCEs that you pass with them will not be acceptable. The next major change to pathway two is the change to the eligible graduation date. So for the 2023 pathways, Applicants to Pathway 2 must have a medical school graduation date on or after January 1st, 2021. And remember, this only applies to applicants that are applying to Pathway 2. The next major change that you need to know for Pathways 3, 4, and 5 is the change to the eligible graduation date. So if you are an applicant applying to any of these pathways, then you must have a medical school graduation date on or after January 1st, 2021. Okay, now let's move on to change number four. And this is specific for pathway number six. The first change is the change to the number of applicants an individual physician evaluator may evaluate. So maybe last year, ECFMG was seeing that one physician was evaluating like hundreds of students. So they just put a stop to that by putting this change into it. Because now it states that each physician evaluator will be able to submit evaluations for no more than 10 applicants. So if you have one physician called Dr. M, Dr. M can only evaluate 10 applicants and no more. The next change is the changes to the physician evaluator process. So the ECFMG states that they will change the mini CEX evaluations. However, they state that more details on the specific changes will not be published until the 2023 pathways are released, so we'll have to wait and find out on what those specific changes are. Change number five relates to the fees. So remember, if you want to apply to any of these pathways, you have to pay a fee that is non-refundable. So if you apply and your application gets rejected, it's non-refundable. So applicants applying to the 2023 match or specifically to the 2023 pathways will have to pay 925 US dollars. The next important change is the expiration date of the ECFMG certificates that applicants from the 2023 pathways will receive. 
So just like applicants who apply to the 2021 and 2022 pathways, applicants applying to the 2023 pathways will also have an expiration date of December 31st, 2024. The ECFMG also states that if there is any change to the expiration date, they will notify us. And of course, I will notify you by posting another YouTube video. So if you have not subscribed as yet, all you have to do is pour up that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so that you never miss another important video like this. Now let's move on to some USMLE updates. So the first one is one that you should know already is that the passing score for the USMLE Step 1 has increased from 194 to 196. So bear this in mind when you are doing your practice exams so that you can accurately gauge what score you need to go so you can go to the USMLE Step 1 and pass comfortably. The next important thing that you need to know for the USMLE Step 1 is that there will be a delay in score reporting for applicants who test on or after May 2nd to mid-June. So if you test on or after May 2nd to mid-June, then you will not receive your score report until July 6, 2022. So if you need your USMLE Step 1 score report before July 6, 2022, then the USMLE recommends that you do the USMLE Step 1 before May 2nd. And to learn about more ECFMG and USMLE updates, all you have to do is click this video right here. Thank you so much for watching.